Hey, what's up guys? Headed to Kentucky. Going on a road trip. Kentucky bound. And we're going after? Big old Longbeards with John Collins. John Collins with Tooth and Claw. He's been real busy this past week. They were doing strutting in the bluegrass in Kentucky. Really good stuff. He's had some some really good success. Great success. Yeah. And uh, I think six birds total. Yeah. We're hoping to go down and piggyback a little bit off of that. Yeah. Now he's a good guy, so I'm gonna keep it rolling right along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're actually hoping we can hunt tomorrow morning. Yep. So yep. I think we initially talked we might have we were thinking about just scouting in the morning first. Um, but we talked to him a couple different times and I think he's actually gonna go scouting here this evening and try to try to find a bird for us to get on right away in the morning. So fingers crossed he finds a bird and fingers crossed we can maybe work him tomorrow morning right off the roof. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. Should be good. I know if I know John it's gonna be good. <laughs> he's a, he knows what he's doing. He's a hard working guy. So we'll be in good hands with him. He's awesome. So stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. It's gonna be awesome. Andy. I see a red light. I'm back. Code man is uh Yo. Here, let's get some light on in this joint. He's getting the game plan together. Yeah, yeah. I figured it'd be a good idea to warm up our vocal cords a little bit. Why don't you give him a little taste of what you can do? Man, he told me to get one in my mouth and I didn't yet. Just hang on here a sec. You? Tell me. Hang on. See, I've only been turkey hunting, just to give you a little background. <laughs> I've been hurt turkey hunting for probably about five years. I haven't been doing it real long. So if at any point you're like, why did Cody just do that with his mouth? <laughs> just assume it was probably me piddling around. <laughs> What are you doing? Trying to feel like I'm doing something. Just peddling. I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> That's my plan. And shoot turkeys in the and face. Shoot turkeys in the face. Just breaking daylight, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Have a couple decoys. Let's roll out here. Bring them for show and tell now? Yep. He's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I want to try turkey this. We're slipping out here. We got about another 150 yards or so. There's a power line and it's kind of like the highest spot right around in here. And we can hear down into this and, and across this other pasture field. John's been seeing a turkey out in this other pasture field. We're going to get down here to this power line. See if we can hear a bird from there. And uh, if we don't hear one, we'll probably go over towards the pasture field and see if we can call and strike them up. So, let's roll. There's a bird roosted in this block of timber here this morning. I don't think he was too far in there, probably. 130 yards in there. I think I called to him one time on the wind. And he was 
started hammering even more than what he already was. And he hit the ground and uh, consistently heading out. So I'm assuming that he has hands with him and they're pulling him away. I'm just gonna sit here and shut up for a while. Either way, pretty eventful in the morning. It was pretty fun. There was hammer in there pretty hard for a while. We needed a little bit of refuel. Went and got lunch. Andrew and I got our butts whooped this morning. How about it, buddy? I'm not too bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. Pretty and, bad, at least you got one flopping. That's yeah, right. That's right. Could be a lot better. <laughs> but you all did hear a couple birds, right? Plenty yeah. of gobbling on our roofs. Yep. 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 Well, hopefully, I think if we can, uh, if we can get one to gobble at us a little bit this afternoon, usually those birds will work pretty good. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Just uh, so we can't get this one struck up. Yes, sir. Well, we got another bird located here. We actually just saw him right off the road here and uh, hopped in here real quick just to see if we could get this bird to, to respond to us. And, he did. Sure, he gobbled twice. He gobbled twice. So we gotta call, call him across the holler, but yeah, see what we can make of him. We tried to do our best. Well, we just had uh, quite the encounter, but it didn't quite work out the way we had hoped, so it didn't. We didn't make it happen. We actually, y'all saw some heat, you saw two heads, yeah. you saw three heads, I'm pretty sure it was top, all of them were toms. Yeah, no, they were all gobblers, but. Man, we could have killed one. Oh, absolutely, I mean, yeah. If we were just calling killing, we would have had one. Needed the camera to be about that much. Right. Oh, we was cranking on it. Bittersweet hot call. Right there, I said, they fixed the killing. All right, guys. Hopefully, our next report might be a little better. Day number two down here in Kentucky. How about it? We'll get into them this morning. We got uh, we got a little bit of rain coming in this afternoon, and it could this could affect how the gobblers act this morning. Yeah. It may affect the gobbling. We don't know, but. Uh, We've actually semi have some turkeys roosted. Uh, we washed them until they got out of sight on a Thursday evening, uh, and it was pretty close to fly up time. And uh, we couldn't get to where we could see them fly up, and we tried to out hoot them from that side and never heard anything. But we actually come to the other side of the holler that they went into, out hooted, and immediately, ah, it was right down there off the side of the hill. So I think we can get pretty close to them. We'll probably be within 200 yards of them this morning when we get set up. Yeah. We've been on these birds you know, since the, the roost. But what the, this hill rolls over and these birds aren't seeing our decoys, which we kind of figured that, that could be a possibility when I planned this. But well, they actually kind of worked around us in the field, so we're gonna slip around here and try to get a different angle in to where it's more open and kind of, kind of levels out. It's almost flatter, it's like a saddle, but Kind of a flat spot in the side. Let's see if we can get spun around on it. These birds are working down this other side right now. They started, they roosted back over here in this corner and they kind of cut the whole way out in front of us and they never saw our decoys. So they're cutting across this field. They're actually like right here right now. John just got the decoys set up. This is a little bit more flat out across this field right here. I think if we can get them to pop their heads up over and they see that strutter decoy, they're gonna come right into it.
bright burning. Shoot him. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, third, hey, third time's a charm. That's right, I guess, man. <laughs> Holy smokes. Man, he almost got away. But <laughs> thank you. <laughs> man, it, that's a beautiful. Well, you bird. finally picked up the right. See, I think he shot at all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, I thought you pulling them shots on the last second because you noticed that one was a double. Beer. That's right. You're yep. trying to figure out which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a fun hunt, though. That was we a fun had, had these birds semi-roosted last night. Come here and got set up on them. We actually set up. I thought it was money. We was right there uh -huh. close to them. They pitched out and actually circled way out in front of us, just right over the rise. Circled all the way around on the other side of the field there. And we just was lucky that we had a little slope, you know, just to fall in this field right here. We was able to sneak right around this other corner, sneak up here, get our decoys out. And actually called up here to them a little bit and got them fired up. Snuck back up there and got set up. A Little bit of a finessing. Here they came. Once they got up there and seen that strutter, yep. they come, you know, they was jostling down there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations, old buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Might take a couple extra shots, but we get them down. That's right. Hey. <laughs> Final day down here in Kentucky. Andrew's going to be hunting this morning and uh, probably be heading home, but he's had a little touch of bad luck. Oh, there you go. For those of you looking for high quality Jake footage, we brought it to you. Cody might be right with the 739 prediction. We can make this happen. That was short lived. So that last end didn't work out the way we wanted it to. That was probably the most, well, that was the most stubborn bird we've come across this trip so far. When does the double back come? Yeah. The birds he was looking at saw a decoy. Looks like they might be headed this way. Andrew, bad, bad luck, luck. my it's official on a good note we did we found a bird yesterday that you know, we haven't worked yet so we're gonna slip in there this morning he's kind of out on a kind of a thicker brushier hillside that leads out into a, a cornfield that's on a power line so when we found him yesterday he was on that power line so uh, we're gonna slip right out that same ridge this morning and see if we can get on that power line with him get the decoy set up and everything before it gets daylight and go from there hopefully works out textbook there was some jakes in there yesterday too which is always kind of a pain in the butt to yeah. see but because i'm we're good at calling them up for me yeah hopefully this bird works out here this morning we'll be back in touch here in a little bit we're driving right now won't be long Walking in this morning and have this road that heads out here about 80 to 100 yards. It opens up into a field. And when we hit that field this morning, John spotted a gobbler roosted on the edge of the field. We backed up, he got the decoy out, got set up in here. John called to him and gobbling his head off, but as soon as he pitched down, he shot up. I don't know, it could have been because he saw us and he was being cautious. Could have just been par for course how this trip's been. So we have a few more goblin out around here. We'll try to see if we can't get to cooperate. See his rope? Jeez. Well, they're 
They're vocal. I mean, I think we could go around them. Yeah. Current situation is there's three gobblers we were looking at earlier up here on right up here on this hill around the corner there in full strut strutting around they got some hens with them we don't really have any way to make a move on them i don't know if maybe we'll cut up through this timber or wait for them to go down the other side and set up in here somewhere and try to call them Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's about time. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, man. It's not exactly how we wanted it. No, it we were out, out of options, but we got it done. That's great. Good job. Oh man. Been on these bark birds all morning. <laughs> From the very start. We work them off the roof, circled around, got set up on them a second time, worked them, thought they was gonna come to us, had them out there out in front of us, got hammering every time. <sighs> anytime we hit uh, bittersweet or anytime we hit her hit her mouth diaphragm, they were just absolutely hammering. Yeah. But actually had hands. It makes things work. I didn't even have time to shake. Hey, sometimes it's just cold hunting. That, yeah, that's that wasn't hunting. ideal, but that was Boy, they, hey, straight up hunting. What kind of sight was that right there, all three of them long? That was and awesome, would, dude. <laughs> like it was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, Andy. Thanks, John.
Cody. You are the man. Good times. Good times. If you enjoyed this episode, Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to catch every hunt from Fox Pro Hunting TV.